My name's Clem Newton-Brown. I'm the CEO and founder of Skyports Australia, a company set up to establish the landing infrastructure for a new era of advanced aerial mobility. There's a lot going on in this space internationally. You may have heard of EV tolls, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, and e-stoles, electric short takeoff and landing aircraft. It's all a bit of a mouthful, so let's just call them air taxis. There are over 300 air taxis in development today. Many of these are flying already with people in them. You can go onto YouTube and, and see the, the prototypes flying. None are yet flying commercially, but this is going to change very soon when the front runners become certified, which is expected to happen in the next couple of years. Astounding amounts of money have been put into the front runners. Joby, Lilium, Beta, they've all raised over $1.5 billion. And this money has got them in the air and it's got the prototypes flying and very soon they're going to become operational. Once the aircraft are up and flying commercially, we're expecting that the massive amounts of money that has gone into developing these aircraft is going to be put into the infrastructure to enable these aircraft to operate commercially. These aircraft are going to need the infrastructure just as every other form of transport requires infrastructure. Cars have got roads, car parks, whole ecosystems around uh, making them operational. The same could be said for ships, the planes, the trains. All forms of transport need infrastructure and air taxis are going to be no different. When Uber Air were involved a few years ago, it was all about futuristic inner city landing sites capable of taking a thousand landings per hour. While this may happen eventually, at Skyports, we're looking at a much more realistic vision of starting off with existing aviation infrastructure such as helipads and airports, uh, and then moving on to industrial land, city fringe land, and the very last step would be trying to get Skyports established on inner city rooftops. The Skyports brand has been protected in all emerging markets, the USA, Europe, and Asia. And ultimately, we hope to expand and have uh, partners in these emerging markets. But this fundraise, Skyports Australia, is about getting the Australian market sorted out and developing our expertise. Yes, we are breaking new ground here with electric air taxis, but it's not science fiction. These aircraft are already flying. And if you look at the history of flight, over 100 years ago, we started flying in powered aircraft. And now millions of people are flying around the globe at great speeds, great distances, uh, and with great safety. What air taxis are going to do is create a brand new market in aviation. Clean, green, quiet, electric aircraft that can take you on shorter trips. Trips that you might otherwise have taken in a car, or a train, or a bus, or a tram. The question is often asked, aren't helicopters just the same as electric air taxis? Well, the obvious answer to that is a different form of propulsion is likely to result in different outcomes, hopefully quieter, smaller, lighter, and uh, using renewable energy rather than fossil fuels. The other significant difference is, it, is it's anticipated that air taxis will be able to be operated at a much cheaper price. And the reason that this can happen is because, first of all, the maintenance uh, of an air taxi is going to be significantly less than a helicopter. Secondly, ride-sharing models are likely to work more readily with air taxis. And finally, and this is further down the path, uh, air taxis are being designed to be autonomous. So when the pilot is taken out of the equation, it becomes safer and the cost is also brought down. The path to autonomy is going to take some time, but there's very clear indicators that our air regulators, CASA, Air Services Australia, and our politicians are all working towards creating a whole new ecosystem for these aircraft to fly in. Skyports is involved with various committees, state, federal, and industry bodies, all working towards creating a whole new ecosystem for autonomous flight in Australia. And we've got a great track record in Australia. CASA and Air Services uh, are renowned for being forward thinking and open to new ideas. If you just look at Google Wing, they've been delivering goods by drone in Canberra for the last five years, and that's recently expanded into, into Brisbane. 
So what Skyports wants to do is to attract new aircraft into Australia that are being developed overseas. Creating a whole new ecosystem for moving people and goods through the air is an enormous task with lots of moving parts. Developing the aircraft that will fly commercially to do these jobs is just one part of the equation. At Skyports, we're very clear about our role in this whole new ecosystem. And this is what we see as the missing piece in the puzzle, the landing infrastructure. There's no point having these incredible aircraft being developed if they can't actually be landed in places that are useful. So at Skyports, we've partnered with people, engineers, acoustic specialists, planners, lawyers, helipad designers, battery charging startups, finance specialists, and we're also working closely with all levels of government and the air regulators in developing a whole new set of rules and regulations to enable us to establish the Skyports infrastructure in Australia. Most of the aircraft are being developed overseas. So at Skyports, what we're doing is putting all the pieces of the puzzle on the table and arranging them to make sense so that we can attract these aircraft designers to bring their aircraft to Australia, potentially before they're even certified to go through Australian certification. We want to show these designers that we have the ecosystem in place, we've got the infrastructure in place, and we have the capacity to create viable businesses for their aircraft in Australia. So at Skyports, we're already working with major property players, logistics companies, freight companies, all of whom are excited about the potential for creating a whole new system of moving goods and people by air in a fast, efficient and affordable manner. We've been working at this for a while now and our strategy seems to be working. We were recently approached by Electra Aero, an aircraft designer from the United States, that liked the strategy that we were pursuing of creating uh, infrastructure uh, across the country. They're interested in bringing their aircraft to Australia and we're interested in assisting them to get certified and start operating commercially uh, between our sites. Electra Aero is a very exciting aircraft. Uh, it's raised significant funds and it's working with the support of NASA and the US military at the moment in developing their aircraft. So we have great faith that Electra Aero will be a fantastic partner moving forward. Ultimately, the Skyport's network of landing sites will be utilised just as airports are used today with multiple airlines uh, using the same facilities. And we think this is the most viable business use case for us to partner with all sorts of operators who may want to bring their aircraft to Australia. There's no doubt that an investment in Skyports is for the long term. This building of the ecosystem is going to take time. But investors can take great confidence in the fact that there's been literally billions of dollars poured into the aircraft to make them viable. And when these aircraft are flying commercially, there's going to be no choice but for further investment to occur in the landing sites. At Skyports, we're being realistic about early use cases and business models for air taxis and drone freight. We're not going to be talking about setting up Skyports on the tops of city buildings. We're looking at existing aviation infrastructure, existing airfields, helipads. This is the really low hanging fruit, uh, which can easily be established. From there, we'll be looking at industrial sites, city fringe, rural and regional. And then only after that's been proved, will we start looking at shopping centre rooftops, car parks, uh, and eventually uh, city building rooftops. The best bit about this emerging industry is that there is already government support, which would be the hardest thing to get over the line if it wasn't there. We know that the federal government's supportive. We know that most state governments in Australia are also supportive. So with this political support, it makes everything else so much easier. With industry working with government to create an ecosystem that's conducive to air taxis coming to Australia, there's so much potential for Australia to become a leader in this industry. It's those cities that have spent these coming years creating the infrastructure ecosystem that are going to benefit most from this industry. There's going to be massive investment in infrastructure and those cities that have done the hard work, that have got the approvals, that have got the sites in place, they're the ones that are going to attract the investment that's currently going into the aircraft 
which must go into the infrastructure to make these aircraft viable. Owning a network of Skyport sites to facilitate passenger and freight travel by air is a similar concept to owning a toll road. The big difference is though, you don't need to build the road. Revolutions in transport don't come around that often. This fundraise is about being part of a revolution which has the potential to be truly transformative for our society. I hope you can join me.